NASA is going to reveal today its proposal for the return to the moon. So come on in, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. You know what I'm going to ask. I know the announcement is at 2 o'clock this afternoon, but can you tell me now on this program, are you going to send astronauts to the moon, or is it just a moon probe, and when are you going to do it? The answer is both. Uh, the astronauts will come later, but today we're going to announce uh, a number of companies that are interested and willing and who have been selected to deliver payloads to the surface of the moon for NASA commercially. In other words, NASA is not purchasing, owning, and operating the hardware to get back and forth to the moon. Uh, we're talking about small payloads that are going to be delivered by commercial operators where NASA is one customer of many customers driving down our costs, not just one customer of many customers, but we're also going to have numerous providers that are competing on cost and innovation okay. so that we can do more at the surface of the moon than we've ever been able to do before. So the people that you've got contracts with, they will deliver, kind of, not packages almost, they'll deliver product to the moon. It will That's sit right. on the moon and wait for the astronauts to come later. So tell me, when do the astronauts arrive? I think we can have astronauts on the surface of the moon within 10 years. Um, mm. But what we're doing now is entirely different than we've done before. When we talk about astronauts, the president's space policy directive one says that we're going to go to the moon, but this time we're going to do it sustainably. In other words, we're going to stay. So we're going to have l not just landers, but robots and rovers and humans going back and forth to the surface of the moon in a sustainable way where we can be there for a long period of time. We think back to Apollo, and we know that it was an amazing, amazing moment in American history, six, six landings on the moon. But when, when it was over, we haven't gone back now for 50 years. And the president has said he wants to go sustainably. So this time, we're going to stay. So we're developing architecture that will enable us um, to reuse all elements of launch and tugs and landers um, so that we can be there to stay. So, almost like a little housing block on the... I don't mean to well, be facetious here, but I'm just trying to imagine exactly what are you going to build on the moon to stay there. So the first part is we need to build a space station in orbit around the moon. Mm -hmm. We call it Gateway. It's, it's not really a space station. It's much smaller, but it will be um, capable of, of hosting humans for up to two months, and that will enable us to go back and forth to the surface of the moon over and over again. Think of it, um, for your audience, very intelligent audience, think of it as a, a reusable command module that our landers, whether they're robots or just landers or even uh, landers capable of carrying humans, our landers can be reused. They don't become space junk after, after they land once, but they can go back and forth to the surface of the moon from what we call gateway, which is a reusable command module in orbit around the moon and on Gateway, we will also have humans. I remember reading that book, The Right Stuff. I can't remember the yeah. author, but it was The Right Stuff, and they Tom, made it into a movie. Tom Wolfe. Tom, Tom Wolfe, Wolf. that's right. Now, that was the, all about the, the, the moon mission, so to speak, and they yeah. had astronauts in training for years before that's they right. actually went to the moon. Do you yep. have astronauts in training right now for the moon mission that you're talking about? Well, absolutely. We have a cadre of astronauts right now that are going back and forth to the International Space Station. Uh, in fact, on December 3rd, we're launching another astronaut to the International Space Station on a Russian Soyuz rocket this time. But by next year, we're going to be launching American astronauts on American rockets from American soil for the first time since 2011. And we're doing it with commercial partners. Again, we're going to buy the service. NASA is not going to purchase, own, and operate the hardware but we're going to buy the service to go back and forth to the International Space Station. And yes, our astronauts are doing that, uh, preparing for those missions, which are going to happen next year. Uh, they're preparing right now. And those are the astronauts that ultimately will be going to the moon uh, in the coming decade. I, I do want to give you a lot of credit for the uh, Mars lander. Um, we've, I've seen yeah. a couple of pictures that came back. Um, what's the end game for that lander? Is it just kind of exploring the interior and finding out more about the planets? A absolutely. So here's what we know about Mars. It used to have a very strong magnetosphere that protected it from the radiation of space. It also used to have an ocean in its northern hemisphere. When I say an ocean, I'm talking about three quarters of the northern hemisphere of Mars was, was, was occupied by an ocean. And it had a very thick atmosphere. In other words, 
Mars was habitable. In other words, it could have hosted life. And around three billion years ago, Mars and Earth were very, very similar planets. And then something changed. Earth continued to evolve. Mars kind of got frozen in time, but it also lost its magnetosphere. And of course, that changed the planet to what we understand it today as a, a dry, desolate planet. Mm. Um, and, and so the question is, what happened and why? Yeah. That's what NASA is trying to understand with the Mars InSight lander. And I want to say, uh, what an amazing, amazing day Monday was. Yeah. And congratulations to yes. everybody yes. who participated in that. Yes, congratulations indeed. That was really something else. Jim, that was fascinating. I do hope it you is. can come back soon. Jim Bridenstine, NASA guy. Thanks very much, Jim. See you soon. Thank you. Oh, wow. All right.